210 Boxing TV here with the one and only Super Zab Judah. Zab, uh, before we even get into the, the fun of tonight, which was uh, the boxing and everything, man, you, Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter, just enjoying karaoke and having fun. How in the world? Look, look, look. Again, us fans, people and everything don't know that you guys are actually more of a, a, group. a group, a sorority, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you guys respect one another. How did this come to be? Um, you know, just the brothers got together and, um, you know, just, just, you know, you know, even though we fight each other and, and, and we're fighters and known, known to fight each other, we're still human at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, as, as, as pugilists at a high level of what we do, you know what I'm saying, when, when it comes to time, when it becomes a time when we can hang out and have, and have a good time, we're gonna do it. Now let's let's talk about let's talk about tonight's evening and everything. I actually saw you when you were walking in. You walked in right before the very first match and everything like that. What did you think? Let, let's talk about the co-main event and the main events and everything. What did you think about Jamal Charles' performance against Jose Benavides Jr.? Um, um, you know, I, I was very um pleased that um uh, Charlo's performance tonight you know he came in and he, and he showed pause you know um Jose came out and tried to like give it to him like try to came out with some big shots and try to really hurt him and Jamal stayed pause he, he stayed he, he stayed calm stayed behind his jab stayed using combinations and you know he worked them all the way to the end of the fight you know what I'm saying I mean Jose is a warrior you see he had heart of a lion you know what I'm saying he took it all the way you know what more can we say about that? What do you see Maul going from here? I know we saw Jermel fight Canelo just like about a month or two ago and everything in September. Do you think Maul is next in line, Jamal, to fight Canelo next? Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know who's next up to fight Canelo, but um, if anybody should be given a chance with that performance tonight, it should be David. David 100% earned his, 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 his spot at fighting a great Canelo Alvarez. And he earned himself at fighting for a great payday. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I think he, he you know, you know, some some things are given that's earned. Well, since you went there and you went straight to Benavides and everything, let's talk about his performance tonight against a very tough, rugged fighter. Uh, Again, uh, Demetrius Andre has not really had the opportunity to fight the big names. Yeah. He had the fight lined up with B.J. Saunders, didn't went through because B.J. got popped for a nasal spray and everything as a PED. And he's kind of been calling people out. He's been calling out the Charlos back in the days. Right. He called out Canelo. Had the fight with BJ Saunders. Never came back to the negotiation tables after being popped in that fight. What did Benavides do today to impress you? Like you just said, to get the Canelo fight. I mean, fight. David, for the, you know, you, you can watch Boo Boo. Boo came in there. He made weight well. He looked it big, he looked it strong. His body looked it full. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he was under the snack, the snack program. You know, a great program, and um, he looked at very, you know, great going into the fight, you know, but David Benavidez made him look, you know, extra normal. He made him look like a regular guy, you know, in, in the day in the park, you know, I've been telling people for a long time, he is the monster. He, he's a monster for a reason, and maybe now, tonight, I think he earned his name. He earned his name, you know, before people, you know, they were seeing, seeing things up him, but they wasn't really clicking it all the way in that he's a monster. But tonight, if you still say that you, you don't know who David, who David Benavidez is and he's not a monster, you're fooling yourself. Now talk to us a little bit more about Benavidez. I know that you said that you wanted to see him to fight Canelo. Canelo is more on the tail end of his career. Yeah. Do you honestly see Canelo taking that challenge from a young, undefeated, powerful fighter like David Benavidez? I mean, one thing about Canelo, he's a true Mexican fighter. And you know, I don't know. I, the Mexican fighters that I know, the real warriors, they don't back down from nobody. So when there's an opportunity put on the table with such a, an event that could come around, the David Benavidez and you know a, a Canelo fight, Cinco de Mayo. I'm just putting it out there. I'm not Al Heyman. I'm Zab Judah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? That would be phenomenal for boxing. You know what I'm saying? And and. and and I think that David Benavidez earned that. He earned that. He earned the Canelo fight tonight. He, it's not nothing that's going to be given to him. Not nothing that's going to be, you know, maybe let's just slide him in there. He earned his spot tonight with fighting uh, uh, 
Oh, oh, Canelo Alvarez. 100%. Uh, going back to Andrade. Uh, Andre, I know that uh, I was mentioning his bad luck on trying to obtain big fights. With this loss and actually with this performance too, because he did really good for the first half of the fight, for the first yeah. three rounds before it ultimately ended in the sixth. Do you feel he earned bigger paydays with bigger big name opponents? Like yes. let's say Caleb Plant, 100%. even Maul or Mel. 100 percent I mean, you know, Boo Boo Andres, we haven't seen the we haven't seen the last of him. We've seen I think this David Benavidez fight was a, a the beginning of something in Boo Boo. You know what I'm saying? Because Boo Boo for a long time, he's been put on the back shelf. He's been on the back shelf. A lot of people never won the fight. A lot of people never wanted to tangle with him. Southpaw, he's strong, he's fast, he's, you know, he's powerful. But I think now, after after the Benavidez fight, people are going to sleep on him a little bit. They're going to pick him now. They're going to say, yeah, yeah, give me him, give me him. And he's going to shock some people, trust me. He can, he, he can really fight. Now, let's look into the future of boxing. Uh, pound for pound, everybody's favorite right now is Terrence Crow Crawford after the Spence fight. Do you feel... 100%, nobody takes that title right now, word up. Do you feel Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence should fight in a rematch at 154 like everybody's asking for? 100%, 100%. I mean, Earl Spence is a, you know, be, before this fight happened with, with him and uh, uh, Crawford, it was, he was the truth, the truth. He was known as a dog, pound for pound the best. People was, you know what I'm saying? He was stopping everybody. He dis he discovered, a, you know, he, he ran into a loss. That doesn't make him, you know, a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? Or, or like a bum or anything like that. I believe uh, 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 Earl Spence, better days are in front of him. Yeah. Do you think the move for Earl Spence, since we said the fight should be at 54, is at higher weight classes, not at 147 anymore? I don't know. I mean, the man knows his weight. If he's campaigning to go up at a, to a higher weight to, to, to fight, let him, let him, let him do it. He knows his body better better than we do. You know what I'm saying? He is a big guy. He's a big guy. 100. percent I asked Sean Porter. I was a 47 pounder. Yeah. He's way, he's way bigger than me. You know what I mean? But you know, you know that just go to show you. You know, I was really hand, handling my business. You know, all the world's ways I fought was bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? I was just, just doing my thing, baby. That's it. Bud Crawford right now, again, as we stated, pound for pound, number one. Yeah. Who do you see as the future king in boxing after Crawford is done? You know, there's so many um, names. Teofimo Lopez, yeah, Ryan Devin, Garcia, I mean, listen, we, Tank Davis. We got to put some respect on Devin's name. You know what I'm saying? Devin is um undisputed champion of the world at 135. He's going up to 140 40 pounds to take on, you know, you know the, the the great and durable, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you know, Regis so, program. Regular rule. No, I call him Regular rule. That's my boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, he's not gonna come in there and lay down. But you know, Devin is Devin has exceptional talent. You know what I'm saying. I mean, he's 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 a hundred percent a masterful boxer. At a, you know, at a young. I mean, he's probably a, a young master. We can put him at a young a young master right now because of the things that he's accomplished and done at such a, at such a young age. With that said, I know you said a uh, Rugeru and everything that you, you're cool with Regis yeah. and everything like that. Are you cool with Devin and Bill? Yeah, yeah. So what? Devin's 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 my godson. I've been with Devin since since Devin started boxing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you know, I used to. I was probably one of the first professional athletes that was in the professionals talking about Devin when he was still amateur. You know what I'm saying? I was telling him he's coming. He ain't no joke. He could get busy and look. God, you know what I'm saying? God, you know what I mean? You know, the Most High is a great, is a great person and, 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 and a great entity. And he came along and showed the world Devin Haney. Let me ask you this question then. Devin being your godson and all of that and everything, you being the professional that you've had, the career that you have, yeah. and you see where he's at right now, have you given him, given him any words of wisdom, some advice, Always. anything? Always. Always. What's Always. the biggest thing you've told him? What's the, mo what's the best advice that you believe that you've basically bestowed upon Devin. Just always be ready. Always be ready and be ready for the be ready for the unexpected. You know what I'm saying? Always be ready and be ready for the unexpected and, and, and you know you know Devin has you know good legs, good hands, good feet, good defense. You know what I'm saying? He throws a lot of great combination. He's a combination puncher. He's not a he's not just a, a, a one punch guy, you know what I'm saying? And he's always in tremendous, tremendous great uh, condition. You know, what more can I say that, you know, Bill, Bill, Bill Haney's his father, he's been with him since day one. I mean, these guys built the whole Haney train, 
that's running on the tracks right now and then you know builds the the brains behind it i mean so you you got to give him a lot of credit for that I know you still follow boxing. I've seen you at so many events here in Vegas, yeah. in LA, basically around this nice West Coast area and everything. To you, I know pound for pound, everybody says 10 fighters. What are your top three pound for pound fighters at this moment right now? Um, I don't know. It's been a long night. It's like <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 1.20. Like, yeah, it's 1.20 yeah, in the morning. morning. Um, we just got finished performing for you guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> The great duel, you know what I'm saying? Nobody know nobody even know about our group, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah no, but, um, no, not. But um um I don't know. Um I definitely would put um Crawford number one, Haney number two. And you gotta put Tank in A hundred percent. You know, and in no order. I, I I mean well well yeah, yeah, in that in that in in, in that order, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Finally, ultimately, again, like you said. I love all these guys, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why it's really hard for me to pick these guys because I've been knowing all of the greats today. I've been knowing everybody from young. I've watched all of them. Earl to, 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 to Bud to Haney to Tank to Shakur to Telefimo, like, like to Charlos, you know, Canelo. I remember when these guys came on, bro. I was champion of the world, moving and grooving. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, some... some some sometimes when people ask me, Zab, who's your favorite or who's the best, and you know, you know, it's it's, it's all these guys are great. All these, all you know, all these guys are great. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, at any at any given time, anything can happen. That's it. It's, this is boxing. Finally, ultimately, man, let the fans know where they can find you, get to know more about yeah. you, and just see you after your career and everything, and just yeah, stay. You can up. follow me on YouTube on my YouTube page, uh, Champ Talk with Zab Judah. You can follow me on Instagram at Zab Judah. You can follow me um, on, uh, on on Twitter. I'm on Twitter too. It's at Super Judah. You know, S U P E R J U D H. And you know, if you see me around, you know, I was holler at everybody. I kick it with everybody. I take pictures with everybody. You know, you know, I love the people that love me. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I appreciate people that I never even knew and never even met that come to me now and tell me, yo, when you was fighting. This will happen at my house. This will happen here and there. Yo, bro, these stories, you know, they, they keep me going. 100%. Well, I thank you for your time, Zab Judah, and uh, pleasure, man. You already.